Hi, this is Dr. Anderson from Anderson uh, Center for Neuropathy and Chronic Pain. I'm here with Sarah. And Sarah had surgery for restless legs about three weeks ago, doing really well. And, uh, and she had it done on her left leg, and we're here today. We're planning on doing it on her right leg. Uh, and she came in to us uh, with really severe restless legs. The mask is on because we're, this is during the coronavirus era. And, uh, and we actually, most of our surgeries we do are, are elective, but this, because of the severity of it, there's a process we go through, and she kind of passed the process that we've kind of gone through with the uh, healthcare people, so we should be fine uh, proceeding. So, uh, and if you will, I'll just share with everybody how it's been, how was it, and you know, kind of what the experience was uh, before and after. Um, it was, uh, I was having restless legs in both of my legs, um, keeping me up at night, um, sometimes going a whole night without sleep was taking requip for that and uh, started having uh, augmentation is when the medication has a paradox effect and it starts making it worse um, and so that wasn't helping me anymore and um, the doc was talking about increasing the dose but uh, requip is a a really uh, tough thing to taper back off and I wasn't comfortable going with a with a higher dose and so I shopped around and I learned about Dr. Anderson. Um, he did the surgery on my left leg and uh, the recovery was pretty quick. Um, I was able to cut down the requip to maybe a, a fourth, a uh, half um, of what I had been taking before. Mm -hmm. uh, probably would have been able to go off it entirely, but it's one that you have to taper off very slowly. So um, I noticed after the surgery, though, a big improvement, at least not having the jumpiness and restless legs in my left leg. Um, and I know it worked because I still was getting it in my in right, right leg from cutting back the requip. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, this leg just took off and I uh, stopped trying to cut it back anymore until both legs and that mm -hmm. might make the process a little and, easier. And so Sarah's a, you're a nurse, right? Uh -huh. And so I must imagine you said earlier, like, you know, maybe some nights you didn't sleep at all or, I mean, and then healthcare, that's really important. I yeah. felt very exhausted, right? Yeah, like, exhausted. Yeah. You're working with people all day and they just okay, yeah. came home and yeah, came home your and life crashed. was work and sleep. Yeah, <laughs> right? that's it. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's not a good way to be living your life. And nothing forward, looking forward, no hope, I guess, right? So, no hope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let me kind of pan down here. I'll show you the, the left side, which we've already had. Then we had uh, some uh, closure on this, not sutures, but really it's called a zip line. Uh, and so she was able to get this wet fairly soon afterwards. There's an incision here, one up higher on the leg, and then one up here. These are the three uh, nerve tunnels, and there's other videos we can explain. These tunnels, by the way, affect everything down to the foot, so sometimes you can have a fair amount of foot symptoms, too, in the ankle and foot with burning and tingling and numbness. So we're going to be doing the same on this leg. Uh, and then over here, real quick, I'll show you. We did an evaluation of her right leg that we're operating on uh, tomorrow, and this is showing you with ultrasound. This is called the common perineal nerve. You can see it coming down, and there it's going on down towards her foot. Uh, but what we did here, we did a measurement here, which you can't see, it's kind of been erased, and a measurement here. This is the tightest part of the tunnel. So the nerve is actually smaller in, in diameter here than it is down here. This is a site of most compression or tightness, and this is beyond that point. So the nerve, I call it the uh, napkin ring effect. So you can actually physically see that these nerves are being kind of compressed and pinched. And then we do the surgery and then the patient's doing better so that yet is even more evident. So uh, anyway, that's how this works and, uh, and hopefully you give it a good thumbs up. <laughs> it's been good for you and hopefully we're going to get you off the requip here pretty soon. So uh, everybody watching this, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please comment. And I also ask that you uh, click on the subscribe button and we'll keep uh, hopefully giving you interesting content. So thank you for watching.